20 minutes straight, I am telling you people, I am not lying. You can watch the video. For about 20 minutes straight, Pastor Jennings was owning Mr. Vegas to answer his question. Mind you, this is an international acclaimed pastor who's supposed to understand that God is not the order of confusion, don't it? So, you get in the congregation, rile up, cowing down someone, answer the question, answer the question. You need to answer the question, Mr. Vegas. You was in Jamaica, on social media, saying this, saying that. And Mr. Vegas, anybody knows that Mr. Vegas can get riled up and go hard when he's ready. But to my surprise, he was very calm. You see me, I did it. The man was very calm, straight through. And all Mr. Vegas said, please, can I speak? It's there, you can see it on him in Facebook Live. Can I speak now? And me hear Mr. Vegas say 10 times, can I speak now? And every time Mr. Vegas want me more to talk, he don't go 10 seconds without this man jumping in. And I am sitting there and me I look at me and say, do these people realize say, that them bring a bully from Philadelphia for bully one of the Jamaican nationals who's here trying to keep it civil? And the man just a bully the man and the bully man and nobody would get up and whisper to the pastor and say, yo, you reach a point where Mr. Vegas says, can I, can I have a moderator, please? Because this definitely need a moderator because this man is not adhering to the rules of a debate. But realize, uh, Mr. Jennings now, he's a bully. And he might do that preaching something in the debate and to get the audience involved. The Bible and everybody, they look up sheep them in the audience. We don't want to be disrespectful to them, but the reason why I to call them sheep is there were times when Mr. Jennings attack and no one understands not the way I say and them I get riled up and I say amen and all of these things just for the sake of amen sake. Like we have a serious problem in other country. Yeah? Like really I love everybody and I love man and woman and kids and everybody but when I say church Congregation holding on to every words of a bully, hanging on to the words where this man has said. I mean, no, say this man is not a good person because you can't give you can't give the wrong people in power. You see, just like how people stay in the church, and even typical folks, them see cartel, them see cart vibes cartel with a lot of power. You have a lot of power over the inner city you them or whatever because they don't know them see eye to eye they might come from the same place and them DJ and on the worry say cartel have too much power and to try to take down cartel remember this cartel never put himself out there as somebody who's a role model for nobody in Jamaica he might be an artist he might be a dancer I can never eat him food it is more dangerous when a pastor or a church goer or somebody put themselves out there, or the church where put themselves out there now as this entity, this faction in society that is the beacon of light that everybody should follow and we are the right way. Then put themselves out there as leaders with the best morals because of them are the mediator between you and Christ. So you're supposed to follow them. And when you have people like that, and you have Jamaicans now. We are looked to every word that come out of this man mouth and I hang on to it and I gain forward. We're forward now for get for sure how much of a sheep them is. And when you are a sheep, you know, realize that all of them scriptures eh, about sheep, lamb of God and all of those stuff, they're basically being groomed to be killed. That's what sheep are. The only way, the only reason why the shepherd protect the herd is so him can kill them or take them skin to make them fur for coat and so forth. Sheep being a sheep is not a good thing. Sheep is one of the dumbest animal per herd if you never know that. Yes, a sheep is one of the dumbest animal per herd. So how dare you come say, you are the sheep. I am the sheep and you are the shepherd. That means you look to be led. And I see the whole congregation of sheep sit down and watch this man bully Mr. Vegas for 20 minutes straight. 
talk over him, do everything for disrupt the man from getting him point across. It reach a point now, because man will waste too much time. You reach a point now where Vegas say, okay, my time to talk, because it look like so you, you run off a whole heap of time now and try to get me to answer a question or answer the thing for me. So my time to talk now. I am here to talk about you the way you describe women in one of your sermons because that is one of the reasons why Vegas was on that debate because Vegas did a live on Facebook and him did chastise the, 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 the pastor for saying certain things about women being bitch and hoes and so forth. So Vegas was telling him that, all right, we want to talk about this now, we want to address this because the pastor was saying he did not say that. That's what the pastor said. He says, he said, I did not refer to them as bitches and hoes. I say they dress like hoes or whatever. So Vega said, play the tape. When I remember when Bounty Killer and Merciless did war as thing for sure, say me a dance hall giant. I can make dance hall reference to this conversation. When Bounty Killer and Merciless war over Sting, I think of 2001, if I am not wrong. The year before, Bounty Killer did say, Merciless, now you up here and say me and your daddy and Merciless deny it and the people them run with Merciless argument and Merciless win the clash and the next year Bounty say alright ready for you now next year next year killer catch him on the stage again and say wanna play the boy, wanna play him file play the recording and you hear the recording where Merciless say where you say Bounty killer my father right here and he say, and he say play it again where you say Bounty killer my father so I wanted to stunt the Vegas that I'm trying out that dance or stunt the way he said, play this man a style woman as bitch and hoes. Cause him there up here deny. Pastor catch him free that I tell you. Because the pastor started to make hand signals and started to tell somebody to read from a script. and started to create one bag of destruction then him got so cut and then cut Vegas mic and Vegas was there standing like why not cut my mic this is not good I am here to debate what's going on I am ready to show this man that he's a liar and then the pastor said Vegas I make an signal and I refer to the, the engineer the man like him say get him out of here now this is a man from Philadelphia you know not a Jamaican, you know. But come to make an appearance in a Jamaica. He never bring a security team. Everybody that was here, this is our, these are Jamaicans representing him. So they are representing him and they put on the show and they invited Mr. Vegas as a guest. I don't know why Mr. Vegas do this. This is how we beat him for now. Never beat him. But because Although me stupid enough to go in there by myself, see? So I never intend to go on a podium or not. Mr. Vegas, from the get-go, knows that he's a part of this thing and he's going to go there to debate. And Mr. Vegas go there by himself, without a pin on him, go there. And even though you are going to the house of the Lord, as you say, I still went there and I saw a lot of security. So there are a lot of security there for whatever reasons or why I'm a, why me not go there with me own security. That no make no sense in Vegas because if you didn't have your own security there, you would have been protected me than you have to move better than that. Now because of Jamaica you are going to the house a lot, we are dealing with human beings. Anyway, the man make him unjustas, him unjustas and, 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 and say security, get him off the stage. I wanna see. Go power my page, you will see. Security come. Grab Vegas by the hand, Vegas flash them off. When we see man come and I grab Vegas now, poor little me sit down up on the podium there at the back row say, What me I do yes or no? I can't stay so I make them do this to my brother. Because much as me and Vegas disagree for religious conversation a lot of times, I'm not going to stay there and watch the top because that is totally wrong. So I say, No nah, man, this is not going to go on. If the whole church congregation has a rush me, rush me, I fight off the whole of them because I'm not going to stay in here so I make this go on because this is totally unfair so I get up, if you don't watch my life and this one I get up and I walk over there and one of the security, so-called security personnel 
we are moved the ashes and a whole lamp on the man and I say, yo, brother, let go the man. Let go the man. What the reason for you uh, 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 angle the man them we are? Uh, stop that something and come like the more I try to talk to them and the more them I try to show the brute force attitude. I mean I say, no, come like a sting me there. I come like I want some face security them here dealing because some face have the body security and, and them brother here move like say some or some menace to society. Them come like Vegas never get invitation, come like I'll crash Vegas come over here, come crash that thing here. And the more me I talk to them and them I tell them calm themselves and I get in at the middle or whatever, so the man them get riled up and grab up the man and them start push and spin Vegas and then one of them grab Vegas arm um, and I ring out the mic out of Vegas and I may say, yo bad man, you can't do that. And Vegas say, let me see your badge. Because one of them must have said them are police and Vegas say, when that did it to him, Vegas say, let me see your ID. And him show Vegas was uh, not an official ID, just something with security. security. I said, Vegas was to fling it down and said, that is not a police, um, that's not a police badge or whatever. That's not a police ID. And them just get turbed and grab the man and deal with him like dog star. I mean, I say, really? So I so only invite somebody now to come have a debate and deal with them. I mean, I tell you, the whole congregation sit down there. I mean, I tell you, black people sit down there and watch all of that happen. I watch them haul them man out and then when me I walk out behind them and I try to get the thing in order I'm gonna try to push off on me and I turn around and get real dark for them and I make him say to me there in a church, I'm in a church all right now no. I ain't going to have a bag of sitting so do that something there anyway that's our next story go outside now and Vegas cuss and they are cuss and really upset understandable so why I'm under vex I'm going to go out there and say, yo, this is not a good place to be right now. Them people here, them don't understand what's going on. You know why enough atrocities are committed in the name of religion? Because religion will allow you to sit and watch horrific acts being committed against another human being but because it is being done in the name of the Lord, you will sit there and shut him out and watch innocent people die. And these are the horrors of religion. I'm telling you. Because Vegas went there to debate. Even if Vegas can be troublesome, he was not being troublesome. He went there to do a debate. The man doing 